uh, I wrote this story a while ago. Uh, it's about a boy who, despite being who he is, does something impossible and makes it possible. I knew when I was writing it that this was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I had this grand vision of how my life would turn out. And now, well, all that thought, all that hard work, all those hours and hours just down the drain. You know, Joe, Beethoven was deaf when he composed his Ninth Symphony. He composed it without even hearing it. And today it's considered one of the most beautiful pieces of music in the world. Imagine that, not knowing what you're seeing or hearing, but knowing that it's going to be beautiful when you finish. Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, okay. Uh, what about crew? Nine? Uh, no, no, no. It's, no, don't worry. Uh, we'll have to be flexible then. Uh, I've got to do something down the basketball courts, but I'll meet you in about 15 minutes in the hall, say. Great. Text the crew. Bye. see you. I know I can't make out your expressions, so forgive me if I seem a little cold and distant. I'd like to thank you all for having faith in me and for being brave enough to do this with me. It's been a long two years in the making and it hasn't been easy getting to this stage, as you can obviously see. So I guess the biggest thank you for all of you in this room is for being crazy enough to do this with me. Let's get to work. Let me tell you a story. It's a story about a boy who, despite being who he is, does something impossible and makes it possible. Not much has changed since the first draft. There have been a few character changes, a few dialogue changes. There has been one massive change, though. It's a true story. 